Hello, and welcome. Today, we're doing a slightly different video where I'll show you how to use your keyboard and mouse to play your favorite emulators. With the free and open source application Mouse Injector Dolphin Duck, currently available exclusively for Windows, you'll be able to play using your keyboard and mouse on emulators like Dolphin, Duck Station, PCSX2, in the newer versions, some RetroArch cores, PPSSPP, and even Project 64. Before we dive into Mouse Injector, don't forget to like and share this video in other communities to help more people. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel to learn more tricks like this. If everything is configured correctly and the game is compatible with Mouse Injector, pressing the 4 key on your keyboard should allow Mouse Injector to detect both the emulator and the game running. If it only detects the emulator and not the game, check if the ISO is compatible and has the same serial as indicated on the compatibility list. If everything is correct and it still doesn't detect, close mouse injector, you can leave the emulator running and run it again as an administrator. To adjust mouse sensitivity, press the plus or minus keys on the numeric keypad. If you want to release the mouse to change other configurations or access the menu, press 4 again to release the cursor. Unfortunately, the keyboard configuration must be done manually, which can be a bit of a headache. This is the most tedious part of the setup, but you can save the preset and never have to redo the configuration for the same game. The easiest way I've found is to open the game's control settings, place them side by side with the emulator's key configuration settings, and set each key according to your preference. After that, save the preset to avoid having to configure it again when you come back to play. Don't forget to set mouse 1 as shoot and mouse 2 as aim to have a similar experience to modern games. So now that everything is working, let's see how smooth the gameplay is in TimeSplitter's future perfect using Dolphin. No matter the difficulty you choose or your experience with FPS games, the keyboard and mouse will give you such an advantage that you'll hardly lose a match. However, in this specific game, I found a bug it's nearly impossible to aim at something below you. When trying to do so, the mouse injector will correct your aim to align with your body height, which is problematic, especially when aiming at a player while descending stairs. Even so, the advantage it provides is still worth it. In addition to this practical test in time splitters, I also used Mouse Injector in Black, one of the games that nostalgic fans love, known for its heavy aim on the PlayStation 2 version and the issues on the classic Xbox version when running on Xenu. I won't go over the configuration again because it's practically the same, just in different projects. For an even better experience in Black, you can enable the widescreen mode and the 60 FPS mode in the patches tab, these mods allow the game to run much better. And for those interested, there's also a texture pack available, with the link in the description. If you've played Black before, you know it's a very challenging game, with many simultaneous enemies, few places to heal and hide, and distant checkpoints in some levels. Even so, using a keyboard and mouse, these problems are minimized. In the gameplay you're watching in the background, I'm playing on hard mode, and as you can see, I have no trouble taking down enemies or moving around decently to stay alive. Unlike in Time Splitters, I didn't have any issues aiming down here. However, there are other bugs I should mention. I noticed that the aim can waver depending on how fast I move the cursor. At the time of recording, I was using the Automatic Graphics API, but they say that using the DirectX API can lessen this issue. Honestly, it's not something that bothers me much or hinders the gameplay. Considering that there is a way to play online on PCSX2 on dedicated servers, I'm not sure if this control method can be used. But if it can, it will definitely be a significant disadvantage for those playing with the original console controller. And that's the video folks. Remember, all the files mentioned will be in the description for you to download. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.